My most memorable WMU experience probably was the first time I even came to campus. I was going around campus, everyone was just so friendly and just saying hi, opening the door and just smiling. So it just automatically made me feel like this was my school and my campus. I think one of my most memorable experiences would be going to my first hockey game at Western. And just the student section, there's so much energy and just so many chants. I just love the hockey games a lot. Those memories are, will stick with me for a long time. My most memorable Western experiences was at International Festival, and I represented my, my country, Oman, as the Oman Students Association, and we won the best booth. Well, overall, the experiences I've had have to do with the hills in Western because there's just so many. And I used to work in admissions where we did tours all over campus. It helped me a lot with like not getting that freshman 15 that everybody talked about. I've been obsessed with the atmosphere of the library. I've found, I've met so many people there. I have so many memories there. Some of my fondest and proudest moments have taken place at the library. Not the one on campus. I think my most memorable experience at WMU was the Great Flood of 2017. And this was actually my freshman year and I was in the marching band. And this is when the football field flooded. You know, people were coming together to push people's cars out of two feet of water. I really got to see this sense of involvement and community right as I was getting into Western my freshman year. My most memorable moment here at WMU is when I suffered a stroke back in November of 2020. At that time, my prognosis was very bleak. But because of Dr. Harrison and the School of Social Work staff and the disability staff, I am living proof what WMU community can do at its best. I've really learned that anything is possible. Being 39 years old, I have a full-time family, I have a full-time job. WMU really made it possible for me to finish school while doing all the other things I have going on in my life. Definitely proud to be a Bronco. And the reason I am uh, graduating on schedule on time, it's the support from my family. 20 years from now, I think I'll remember my time at Western as the most exciting, fun learning experience of my life. I learned how important it is to find your tribe of people. Second week I was here, I was lucky enough to find my three best friends. You're gonna have a lot of different friend groups, you're gonna join a lot of different organizations, but once you find your family, your people, the memories that you make with those people are what you'll always be able to look back on. You know, when I came to Western, it just felt so perfect. It felt like family. I'll remember all the Broncos around me, you know, whether I met you in the dining hall or during WSA or in one of my business classes, you know, I'll just remember the people at Western Michigan University. And that's what you'll know is so special about this college. Hello Broncos, I'm Edward Montgomery, and it is my great honor to serve as the ninth president of Western Michigan University. Let me begin by extending a very heartfelt congratulations on your graduation. Today's event is all about you. It's a moment for recollection and reflection, for appreciation and celebration. As you progress through your WMU career, you learned many things in the classroom, in the laboratory, on the stage, in the workshop, and on the runway. But you also learned many things that were not part of the curriculum. You found out that walking up the hill from the valleys was his own cardio workout. You feasted on Bilbo's pizza and powered through finals on gallons of Big B coffee. During your years here, you learn things that generations of Broncos have discovered. And when the global pandemic changed the world, altering the final stretch of your college experience, you did what Broncos have always done. You paused, you looked around to gain your bearings, and you move forward, 
taking much from lessons that no one alive today could teach. You did all of this together. Graduates, you've built a camaraderie and a shared experience that will stay with you for the rest of your lives. You learned who you could count on, that family could become friends and friends could become family, that faculty could be great sounding boards for ideas, whether in person or on a screen. And you learn that Western is packed with people who have prepared to do whatever they could to help you continue your studies in new and very different ways. You learn that we are here to help you thrive today and into the future. You learn that although technology was valuable in allowing you to attend classes, RSO meetings, town halls, and study groups, it couldn't replace the human connection. Though you could power through classes using WebEx and Blackboard, hearing someone's voice and seeing their face could make a world of difference. And Broncos, I hope that you discovered the power that you possess in sharing your voice with others. What you say and do is important. Even the smallest gesture can make the biggest difference to another person. There's much truth in French mathematician Blase Pascal's words. Kind words do not cost much, yet they accomplish much. This is the day you've been waiting for. For watching this presentation, please know that everyone at your alma mater is immensely proud of you and what you have accomplished. The lessons that you learned about yourself as you dug in and pushed through to earn a college degree during a global pandemic will stay with you for the rest of your lives. The ability to proudly tell people that you graduated from Western Michigan University in the year 2021 will always be a badge of honor. And to that inner circle, the families, friends, mentors, advisors, I know how elated you are to see the effort and exertion, the late nights and long days culminate in a diploma and a sense of accomplishment. The entire Western Michigan University community shares your joy in this achievement and stands with you in anticipating great things for these graduates. And graduates, we are all awed by your dedication. Author Christian D. Larson said, believe in yourself and all that you are. Know that there is something inside of you that is greater than any obstacle. You took these words to heart. You persevered. As you move through your life, you're going to discover that what you have been building over the last 14 months, the ability to achieve goals, even in the face of challenges, will serve you well personally and professionally. Because of the tenacity you have shown, the determination that brought you to this point, to this ceremony, you have a rock solid foundation that will take you as far as you want to go. As author Orison Sweat Marden wrote, success is the child of drudgery and perseverance. It cannot be coaxed or bribed. Pay the price and it is yours. Broncos, you've made a considerable down payment on a successful future, and you're now one step closer to discovering. Wherever life takes you, know that you are part of the WMU community forever. No one can take away the experiences that you built here, the relationships that you forged. You are now part of a 260,000 member alumni family that reaches across the globe and into nearly every nation. Never hesitate to reach out to your fellow Broncos for help and guidance. And then pay that support back by offering the same assistance to others. I hope that in addition to making you more resilient, earning your degree at this time has also made you more appreciative of the things in life that we once took for granted. Share that appreciation with those around you. Take a moment 
to reflect on everyone who was part of your unique Western experience. Whether it was a faculty member who asked you to rethink your assumptions, an advisor who gave you advice and guidance, an employer who helped you discover a new talent, and of course, the many family and friends who are cheering for you today. Don't forget those who helped you get to this point. As Voltaire noted, appreciation is a wonderful thing. It makes what is excellent in others belong to us as well. As you enter this new phase of your life, you are prepared for what's next. You're ready to make and set new goals. You're equipped to face uncertainty, to find a way for yourself, and just as importantly, to become an example and help others along the way as you can. The novelist Edith Wharton said, there are two ways of spreading light, to be the candle or the mirror that reflects it. You, as WMU alumni, will spread your light with the excellence you have demonstrated on your way to graduation. I have no doubt that you will use the knowledge that you have gained on our campus and along with your creativity, ingenuity, and grit to show the world exactly what Broncos are capable of doing. Western Michigan University Class of 2021, congratulations on your graduation. Everyone at your alma mater is immensely proud of you and is eagerly anticipating cheering you on in every future success. Go Broncos. Congratulations, graduates. As the WMU Alumni Association Board President, I want to welcome each of you to our alumni family. As of today, you are now a part of a community of over 250,000 alumni who are proud Bronco graduates like yourselves. With Broncos in all 50 states and in over 100 countries around the world, you will never be far from your Western Michigan University alumni family. Your last few semesters at WMU have certainly been unique, but like the alumni featured here today, your education, your experiences, and the relationships you've made at WMU have prepared you to make your mark on the world. My name is Gabriel Jerome. I am the executive director and co-founder of Speak It Forward Incorporated, as well as one half of the poetic spoken word duo, Kinetic Effect. Because of WMU, I was able to grow in ways I never thought possible. As a member of the Lee Honors College, I was allowed to do my final thesis in whatever field that I wanted. And so I ended up putting on a full-on production theater show as my final project. I was continuously encouraged to pursue my passions, which allowed me to do what I do now, both as a performer and speaker, but also as a proud member of Kalamazoo and someone who gives back to the community at every chance that I can. I'm Keith Thompson. I'm the chief meteorologist at News Channel 3 in Kalamazoo. I went to grad school at Western and I had already been in my field for several years, but I wanted a little bit more backing, a little bit more standing. Because of WMU, I feel like my work and my experience in television is so much more well-rounded and well-grounded. I feel like it adds so much more to my job, my occupation. My name is Sean Markovich Fields. I am a registered nurse who also owns a maternal infant health program called 20 Hands. We work with pregnant women and babies. We are here to help reduce infant mortality in the counties that we live in. I started this work in my home. It just took off from there. We served one county when we started, and we have actually served over 1,800 women since I started this program. And the education that I received was phenomenal. And the professors that I had and the mentors that I had are still part of who I am today, even my friendships. Because of WMU, I'm doing the work that I love that I'm passionate about, and I'm completely blessed to have that opportunity. My name is Randall Roshan. I'm a pilot for United Airlines, flying the Boeing 757-767 airplanes. I truly cannot tell you how happy, blessed, just wonderful how that experience was for me at Western. 
Western helped me get to where I am today. If it was not for Western and the opportunities that I gained at Western, I'm not sure where I would be today. Western's aviation program is a prestige program, but I can honestly say probably about 85% to 90% of us that I went to school with, we're all working somewhere that we enjoy right now. Throughout this whole journey, I've always given back to Western uh, because of what Western has done for me. They're my alma mater and you know, I'm proud to be a Bronco. My name is Lisa Marie Johnson Williams. I'm an education administrator. My journey actually started at Western. Fortunately and unfortunately, I became a teen mom. When I first got to campus, everything that we owned fit into one garbage bag. What Western did for me was it opened that door for me to become who I wanted to become. It showed a, a girl, a black girl from Detroit, a single mother with a son that she could soar to higher height, she could become successful despite the odds, despite all the circumstances that were stacked against me. I mean, I just feel like Western is just this magical place where all of your dreams can come true. I'm just so grateful and appreciative of those opportunities that I wouldn't have known existed had I not come to Western. My name is Antonio Neves. I am the author of Stop Living on Autopilot. I travel all across the country and I travel all across the globe and work with major organizations like Google, like Amazon. I'm a, a first generation college student. I did not know what to expect when I landed on campus that, that first semester. As I remember when I first walked into the Hayworth College of business. It, it made me walk taller. It made me feel like that I could be someone. But most importantly, what it did for this first generation college student was that it helped me slowly but surely build my confidence. It helped me realize I could compete on any scale. Before I knew it, I was like, no, I'm good to go. I'm a Bronco. I went to Western Michigan University. I can succeed in Kalamazoo, but I can also succeed in New York City and beyond. Now that you have graduated, I truly hope that you will continue to stay connected to WMU. The Alumni Association is here to support you as you embark on this next chapter in your life. Everything from career services like resume building and interview support to networking with other fellow alumni, we are here for you. You are important to us, so we really hope you'll stay in touch. We are so proud of all of your accomplishments thus far, and we can't wait to see what you do next. Congratulations again, and go Broncos! Hello, my name is Dr. Jennifer Bott, and it's my honor to serve as your Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs. I sure wish we were gathered at Miller Auditorium today to properly celebrate this milestone together. You deserve a triumphant celebration, but please do not allow the platform to take away from the jubilance and significance of this moment. When we face adversity, we can either collapse or we can rise and confront the challenges we encounter head on. I have seen you as a class continually rise to new heights that have left me in awe of you. It is clear the WMU class of 2021 is exceptional. You will be remembered by your alma mater, your fellow students, and your loved ones for the commitment and tenacity you have shown over these last several years, and in particular, these last 12 months. You have made us all incredibly proud, and we know this is just the beginning for you and all you will achieve in the future. You have managed to thrive when no one would have blamed you for giving up. You remained committed to your purpose and kept forging through even the most challenging obstacles. You will now go out into the world and prosper. You've earned it. Hold your head up high and keep that Bronco spirit. When you have tough days, remember that you have already braved storms that could have taken you down, but never did. And your success rate for getting through those tough days is 100%. The strength and perseverance you have identified within yourself over these last few years will be amongst the most valuable tools you take away from your time here with us at Western Michigan University. You are exceptional. You have done an extraordinary job, and now it is time to celebrate and enjoy your accomplishments. Congratulations on all you have achieved and on all the triumphs you have set your sights on next for the next chapter of your lives. You will be remembered and have only just begun to create your legacy. Thank you for inspiring me along the way, and go Broncos.
Congratulations, University Studies graduates. You did it. Today is your day. I so wish we could be together in Miller Auditorium today so that I could watch you walk across the stage, receive your diploma from President Montgomery, and I could shake your hand and congratulate you all individually. But that wasn't in the cards. Today is still your day though, and this is your year. Even this year that has shown us so many additional challenges and obstacles. But you've overcome those obstacles to still get your degree. And I'm impressed by that, but I'm not surprised because you're university studies students. You've been overcoming obstacles your whole life. Our program is built for students like you to give you the flexibility and the supports you need to realize your dreams. Our program is full of working moms, active duty and military veterans, single parents, youth and alumni of foster care who have seen life throw all sorts of challenges in their way. But you've overcome all those obstacles. We've had students throughout this year who have lost their jobs, who've lost parents, who have had to take time away from their studies in order to care for others. But each one of you said, someday I'm going to come back. Someday I'm going to return. Someday I am going to come back and complete my degree in university studies from Western Michigan University. So welcome to Someday. We celebrate you today wherever you are. And we hope that you continue to stay in touch with us to share your stories and your successes because your successes are our successes. Congratulations and go Broncos. President Montgomery, it is my pleasure to present these candidates who have completed all the requirements for their degree in university studies as prescribed by the faculty of this college. Graduates, this is the moment you have all been waiting for. By the authority of the state of Michigan, vested in the board of trustees, I hereby confer upon you the appropriate degrees as indicated in the program with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities appertaining thereto. Now, let's meet our graduates. Mariah Campbell, Bachelor of Science, University Studies. Sydney Kassar, Bachelor of Science, University Studies. Terence Claiborne, Bachelor of Science, University Studies. Peyton Coleman, Bachelor of Science, University Studies. Carrie Daly, Bachelor of Arts, University Studies. Kalia Easterling, Bachelor of Science, University Studies. Christina Edwards, Bachelor of Science, University Studies. Jacob Fisher, Bachelor of Arts, University Studies. James Hahn, Bachelor of Science, Student Integrated Curriculum. Katie Kolakowski, Bachelor of Arts, University Studies. Nicole Lee, Bachelor of Arts, University Studies. Irisa Lana, Bachelor of Science, University Studies. Tiffany McDermott, Bachelor of Science, University Studies. Jordan McCown, Bachelor of Science, University Studies. Patrick McGrath, Bachelor of Arts, University Studies. Anastasia Moeller, Bachelor of Science, University Studies. Kelly Okanicki, Bachelor of Arts, University Studies. Zoe Palmer, Bachelor of Arts, University Studies. Elijah Shell, Bachelor of Science, University Studies. Jacob Simmon, Bachelor of Science, University Studies. Casey Smith, Bachelor of Science, University Studies. John Smith, Bachelor of Science, University Studies. Brian Smith, 
Bachelor of Science, University Studies. Christine Thomas, Bachelor of Science, University Studies. Wade Thomas, Bachelor of Science, University Studies. Cheryl Thompson, Bachelor of Science, University Studies. Jeffrey Vanderveen, Bachelor of Science, University Studies. Eka Wangayi, Bachelor of Science, University Studies. Kiara Weil, Bachelor of Science, University Studies. Antasia Wilson, Bachelor of Science, University Studies. Shakia Ray, Bachelor of Science, University Studies. Hello, class of 2021, Tim Allen here. As a fellow Bronco, my advice to you upon your graduation is to really enjoy this monumental moment in your life and also set a goal for yourself, a very specific goal. For me, it was The Tonight Show. I wanted to get booked on The Tonight Show to do my comedy set for Johnny Carson. As I tried to make that happen and get closer to achieving that goal, I was fortunate to have a lot of other career opportunities open up to me along the way. Opportunities like home improvement, the Santa Claus, and now here I sit, kind of graduating myself from nine seasons of my TV show, Last Man Standing. All because I set one goal for myself when I was close to your age. So onward, graduates, you never know what can happen. Make lists, set those goals. Technically, you're already ahead of the game reaching the goal of graduating, so now make sure you enjoy it. Go where you want to be, not where you don't want to go. And whatever that may be, there are Western Michigan University alumni everywhere in every state in every industry. Whether you're in L.A., in Kalamazoo, in your living room, you're part of a huge network of Broncos who are connected through our shared experience as WMU students. We're all proud of your hard work and perseverance and can't wait to see what comes next. Congratulations and go Broncos. <laughs> So you graduated through a pandemic. What's the percentage of people in history that can say that? But most importantly, you have proven to all of your loved ones, your professors, and most importantly, yourself, that you have what it takes to succeed against all odds and obstacles. Remember to carry that same determination with you throughout your entire professional career. And again, I congratulate you and I am so honored and proud of you this year. Hey Broncos, congratulations on this amazing achievement that all of you have made. The world is completely open to you and I only wish you the best. You've already shown us just how awesome you are. I wish you the best as you move forward to embrace life's new adventures. It's Coach Lester. I want to say congratulations to all our graduates today for earning your degree from Western Michigan University. You now join the hundreds of thousands of alumni like myself that are in the world, in the workforce, trying to make this world a better place. I can't wait to see you do the same thing. Today, we celebrate you and your next new chapter in this exciting journey. Congratulations, graduates. I am Terrace Todd, and 23 years ago to the day, I actually sat in your seat and now appointed by the White House to the U.S. Department of Education here in Washington, D.C. As a WMU graduate, the stars are the limit for you. Again, congratulations and go Broncos. Hey, guys. My name is Paul Blair, uh, professionally known as DJ White Shadow. I'm a Grammy-winning producer and songwriter, and uh, most importantly, a Western Michigan University graduate. Uh, checking in today to uh, let you guys know that I'm sincerely proud of you, and congratulations on graduating. Um, you can do anything out here if you put your mind to it. Go Broncos! We know you have a great future in front of you because it's always a great day to be a Bronco. Congratulations. What an accomplishment. Enjoy your careers. Cannot wait to see what you have in store on the next leg of your Bronco journey. Again, welcome to the family and congratulations. But just remember this, no matter what you do, no matter where you go, you're always going to be a part of WMU. Congratulations to all the graduating Broncos. 
Best wishes on your future endeavors. Congratulations, WMU grads, on behalf of Bell Brewery. Go Broncos! Let's ride! Hi, Sam. Congratulations on graduating college. We're so proud of you and excited to see what's next. We love you. Congratulations, Sam. Can't believe how quickly these years have gone. We love you so, so much. Love, love you, you like you. you. Congratulations, Kiara. Happy graduation, Happy Kiara. Happy graduation, Kiara. Congratulations. All the best, Kiara. We're very proud of you and love you too much. We love you, Kiara. You did it. Four years. Go Broncos. You got Go it. Broncos. Congratulations, Dad. We're so proud of you. Congratulations, Dad. Graduates, as we conclude this program, I'd like to leave you with a charge for your future. You have been heavily invested in securing your degree. Know that this remarkable accomplishment is more than a piece of paper or something to cross off your task list in life. The opportunity that you've been afforded to earn a degree from a major research university comes with certain privileges. Doors will open to you, and you may be the first person from your family, your community, or from your background to have a seat at the table where decisions are being made. Use those opportunities, those chances to make a difference. Be an active citizen. Don't sit it out, for if you do, we all lose. The world needs you. You have shown that you have this special blend of talent, grit, passion, and compassion. It's what brought you here today and what makes Western such a special place. Don't stop believing in yourself. Don't stop thinking and questioning. Don't stop fighting for your beliefs, your values, your family, and the world we live in. Take your determination and your diploma and make a difference. As Nelson Mandela stated, we can change the world and make it a better place. It is in your hands to make a difference. My greatest hope is that you choose a life journey that inspires you and feeds your soul. Whether it is in pursuit of more education, building a satisfying professional career, or raising a family, please offer your services, use the talent, the experience, and the determination that you have proven to possess and do it to the fullest so that your light shines for others. Graduates, we can't wait to see where your life's journey takes you. Wherever you might be, don't forget that your Bronco family is proud of you. Congratulations and best wishes on your next chapter.